So, all right. So I got a request the other day about what I should do with iMovie, or that I should do an iMovie tutorial. Uh, it was being true, being me was the channel name, and she requested that I do the or an iMovie. So first off, to get into it, I didn't, I couldn't get my mic to work with the screen recorder for whatever reason, so I have to voice over. Uh, so basically, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is that there is three different uh, categories: videos, projects, and theater. I am going to show you what the basis of what we want to create today with the uh, with this movie. Now, hopefully, it loads with that. It's not actually that small. It's just because it's in portrait mode uh, for the screen recorder, or I'm using OBS. So, uh, and then what you want to do is you can choose movie or trailer. Uh, if you choose movie, it, you can combine videos together or you can just choose one to edit. If you choose trailer, it's more like the what it says, a Hollywood style. It's more like you can go in there and be like dramatic music, all this stuff. So I'm gonna scroll down to a video. I had that me flying on whatever that thing is on that thing. In World of Warcraft, and that's just a simple World of Warcraft video. And then I'm going to show you how to create this. So, first off, you want to play, make sure the video is okay. Um, yeah, that's the main thing there. I'm showing you can skip over it, you can use the all this stuff. Now, I will hopefully open a menu soon. There we go. And uh, when you press this theme music, because if you want theme music, you just add different themes to the song. So this is what the first one is. Uh, I don't know if that'll actually come out, but it's just like a a like a rock kind of sounding news thing. It's kind of interesting. You can choose between every different sound effect there. Um, you can choose different themes for the music. Uh, if you want to fade in from black, you can do that. Or fade out from the black, you can do that. Uh, which means if you fade in from black, it'll, at the beginning, you'll fade. It'll start by fading in. At the end, it'll fade out for fade out. Speed changes pitch. I'll talk about a little bit later in the video. And I'm going to cut this part out real fast. Because I had like to do something real fast. So... Next thing's next. You see, you can hear the beautiful music that doesn't exist in this. Okay, you can turn the volume up. Great. Uh, you can choose the add button on the left top corner, which I should have showed with the mouse, but you can choose that with the moments, videos, photos, albums, audio, camera, voiceover. With moments, it will just choose what video you want or what photo you want, whatever. It's just different folders for different ways. Uh, to record, I said add, and then I went to the record button in the audio options, if I remember right. Hold on. Oh, no, I chose voiceover in the audio options. Okay. Um, now, recording, you'll be able to hear my beautiful voice. It won't, it probably won't come out of the uh, actual audio because it's like static. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, you can do that. It will add your recording to it. And it will create, you know, it will create what you say through your mic or through your phone or, um, whatever you need. And I accidentally, like, jacked that up, the orientation up there. All right. And, uh, another thing, that button that has the, uh, kind of swirl with an arrow. It's an undo button. I really wish I would have moved my mouse around on this one. But you can press audio, you can go to the recordings, and that's basically what it is. You can choose camera, you can use voiceover, you can do sound effects. The sound effects you add just like you do the recordings, or just like you do the music. You put, put it in, or you just click on it, and it will go into the video. Um... 
let's see what else. Uh, to tap to edit the video, you want to tap on the screen on the video, and then you can split it up between two different points for the two different points, and you can make it its own kind of video, and then you can delete it to transition from one place to the other. Uh, the um, I think that was about with the important editing. There's the speed one, there's right click, I mean, there's, sorry, not right click, uh, there's the speed, there's the filters, I don't know why I'm paused here, um, plus that undo button is the one you'll see to the right of my mouse, just in case you're wondering. The play button's above my mouse, on the right, that's the undo button. The left thing that has the square, you can go back. Uh, down what I'm doing there is I'm deleting part of the recording sound, so I can also cut out the audio, but I recommend using Audacity or something like that. Uh, to do with the video there, you can either duplicate it, you can, by pressing the detach button, it'll create a different audio file, and what that audio file is, is it's what that video had in it. So if you created, if you were talking in a, in a video, then you could you could break the video and the audio up, and so you can edit just the audio of that video, and that's what that blue line is. I use duplicate here, I switch to the background. The background just makes it more, uh, less obvious of what's happening. So if you want to add music, if you want to add uh, violins, guitars, whatever in the background, that's what you would do. Uh, here I think I'm about to go over the change speed, or speed changes pitch pretty soon, but first the filters, just do the filters, I think that's pretty obvious if you want different ones, just play around the filters with speed changes pitch. Basically what you want to do is speed. The faster you go, the higher the audio will sound. The slower you go, the lower the audio will sound. So if you go really slow, it will sound more like a really, really deep, uh, quiet sound. And if you go really high it'll, or really fast, it'll sound like really high and kind of screeching sound, but not quite that bad. Uh, it depends on your personal preference. Uh, usually... I just keep it uh, moderated, and I usually make my own audio, all that stuff. Um, except for I also use Windows Movie Maker, which is just a little bit different. It's really not that much different. But let's play it again. Now it has audio in it. I know you can't hear it, so you're just going to have to trust me on this one, because I don't know what the heck's up with OBS for that. Uh, for the theme, yada yada, we already talked about that. We can move it to the foreground, we can move the speed there, we can also move the speed of the recording, the audio, or the recording, the music, and the video, which can, um, you can either speed it up, slow it down. With video, it's more, you can slow it down. I don't think you can speed up, or I haven't figured out a way to speed it up with the video, but with the audio, you can definitely speed it up pretty fast. And then there's a volume button. You press the volume, and it will go up and down, uh, depending on your preference. It's probably not going to go with the video here too much, since this is like the first vo voiceover I've done, but that's why I'm going kind of quickly. I, here I change it back to not, uh, back to having no pit, or the speed does not change the pitch. And then I go slower, and I'm just show that when the speed doesn't change the pitch, it will just make it sound uh, the same, but it will be faster or slower depending on your preference or depending on what you do or what you're trying to make. Um, the other thing is you can uh, add speed or slow it down on the video or the audio, which I mentioned, but you can also, as I go over here in a second, uh, this just shows a little bit more of the pitch thing. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's hope, okay, resetting it, we'll just reset it to its normal thing, volume, I went over that, you can fade in, you can fade out, fading in, fading out will basically make it go quieter and then go away, and then trimming it will just make it, uh, cut off, but, uh, let's see, here I go over the text, what you want to do is you want to type the animation for whatever text you want. 
then you want to tap on there onto the video onto the uh, screen capture there and then to delete it, you press the X button and then you can change it to whatever you'd like there's a color down there you can change it to high sure and you can remove the title text here and you can change everything there and you can there's a way to change the color uh, that's just filters what I'm showing there you can switch the filters around uh, there's just a lot of things you can play around with in there but those are two buttons that's one thing I don't quite understand what's going on with uh, I'm assuming it's probably something that has some sort of options for the text like uh, how big the font is or how small the font is but uh, you can change the font just by pinching the screen and for that I show the different speeds on the video I can make it really really slow or I can make it quicker or I can freeze it which freezing I'll show you in a second is just it's that it, it freezes the video in in that area in that little area with the boxes around it or with the line there uh, aside from that um, I think there's only one a couple more things I want to go over uh, add just adds a different filter or adds a different uh, speed uh, undo button that was the undo button that I just pressed there to undo stuff but I finally put my mouse over it right guys okay uh, there's not a lot more to it that's really it you can zoom in with the top button there as you can do help or whatever and then uh, the next thing that I want to go over is pretty much the last thing except for a little extra at the end which is uh, exporting what I would recommend you do is export to Dropbox or save the video you can upload it directly to YouTube but I would recommend having more flexibility with uh, Dropbox or you or um, just saving it in general you can also do the iTunes but not just creating more hassle and stuff so I just and you can do that from Dropbox or just saving the video Dropbox thing is is you have to have the right amount of space for it and um, saving the video is kind of the same way but uh, you have you it's not on the cloud right all right um, let's see I went that <coughs> I went so over some of those parts for way too long I really didn't need that long to speak so I'm just going to wait until it can until I press cancel or I might just cut some parts out but I think I'm just going to wait till it's all cancel because I'm, it's not that horrible I can shoot iTunes like I said um is the video coming it's black screening I don't know why Oh crap, I just realized I was recording and I paused the video. <laughs> That's probably not a good thing. Um, I like, or I went a little bit further, but here's a trailer. I'll show you how to use the trailers. You can choose between them. Multitude of different um, ones from like scary, romance, to adrenaline, to anything really. And for this, you can choose what portions of the you know names and na see the name the type pretty much anything there and the speaky house of forest I thought that was a game but it makes it kind of cool looking you can make it horror I mean, that was just for test purposes I like horror so you know I'm gonna by the way I'm gonna have a top horror game so I'm Wish, hope I don't have a heart attack. Anyway, aside from that point, uh, you can add video, videos or photos into each one of them, those categories. Other than that, I think this is probably a good ending point. There's not really much over, much else to go over. And I will show you how I am doing the uh, screen, um screen recording on my iPod Touch 5th generation without iOS 11. iOS 11, all you have to do is go to Control-C, 